All right, so for today's video, we're going to talk about the late, great Robin Williams. Stay tuned. Roll intro. What's up, YouTube? It's this guy, Jeremy McDonald. Let me hear you say it. One of your very favorite... One of your very favorite people with Parkinson's, of course, it's Jeremy, also known as J-Mac. Jeremy Mac. Let's do this thing. All right, first of all, before I get any further, I'd just like to say thank you for all the compliments over, over the song and the video that I did last week, Lose Your Mind. It was written in 2018, kind of fine-tuned and re-recorded in 2016 after the death of my friend Adam, longtime friend Adam. But yeah, I just got a lot of great feedback from that, and it was actually quite a journey to go back through all the old video cassettes and uh, digit redigitize files and pick out the highlights of basically the, some of the happiest times of my life, even though they didn't last, but they never do. So thank you. So today we're gonna to talk about Robin Williams. I've always loved Robin Williams. I remember the first time I saw him was probably on some kind of a Carson, Johnny Carson, when, when my grandparents would have it on. I, I, I didn't understand a word he said or why it was funny, I just loved him. And then of course, Mrs. Doubtfire, hysterical movie. But also, he, he could do some very touching stuff like um, Goodwill Hunting and One Hour Photo. And and then, it's, strangely enough, as it pertains to Parkinson's Awakenings, which was about uh, the doctor, I, I believe, who invented Eldo, but for Parkinson's. So that was my intro to Robin Williams. Now, it's kind of strange. I'm going to... Go back in time here. He died on August 11th, 2014. This was about a year and a half after my diagnosis. And I remember I was really struggling at work at that particular time. Having the medicine had become so ineffective, I could barely walk in and out of the building. And I remember on the way to work, I believe I heard on the radio, maybe I saw it on the news that he had passed away. Now, I'm not going to get into how he died. I think we all know that, and I don't really want to talk about that. That's kind of not the point of this uh, video. But I just remember just being shocked with grief that such a powerful dynamo, such just a funny, just vivacious guy with so much energy would could die at 63, I believe. He was 63. And I went to work, and I just I was in a mood all day, and I, I, I told the people at work, Robin Williams died. Nobody seemed to really have it quite as an effect on them as it did on me, and I couldn't really pinpoint it. But I believe some, maybe the same day or a couple days later, it came out that he had been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease before he died. Of course, you know, that was just, that was just a double blow. Not only was one of my favorite um, entertainers dead, but he had roundabout... Roundabout had succumbed from what uh, through one way or another, but we know the story to Parkinson's. And I thought, how could this guy that was just he was a volcano of energy and just entertainment if he couldn't do it after a brief period? Because I mean, he had I don't believe he had come public with his diagnosis. How in the hell was I going to do it? How the hell was I going to soldier on with Parkinson's? at a much younger age than he than he was and still maintain me. Now, it became, especially raising a kid, and, you know, his kids were grown at that point. I think, I could be wrong about that. Somebody fact check me. But it came came out later and it's it's documented in the in the uh, film Robin's Wish that he was misdiagnosed with Parkinson's and he actually had what is called Lewy body dementia, which are three of the scariest words in the English language. Now, I'm not going to pretend I know a lot about Lewy, Lewy body dementia. I know that more than more than a couple people that, that watch this channel have Lewy body dementia. My knowledge is it kind of mimics the symptoms of Parkinson's, the stiffness, the, the, the flat face, the lack of emotion. Uh, but it also has this... Um, very dark side where it basically kind of undermines your whole pers whole perception of the world around you. If you watch that documentary, Robin's Wish, he appeared to have delusions of people of people wanting things from him. I think he was paranoia came in, horrible insomnia. 
So if any of my listeners or viewers are courageous enough to maybe put a comment on this video, how, how Lewy body dementia is different for them than Parkinson's, I would greatly appreciate it. Like I said, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on that. But he, he basically was was fighting an invisible demon. I even I think his wife at the time said, when we finally got the answer, it was like it was the answer to so many questions and so many riddles. And I feel like like a lot of us feel that way with Parkinson's. But when after the autopsy, I don't I think that's how they found out he had Lewy body dementia. I believe the 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 doctor that did the autopsy said that he or she had never seen a case so bad in someone who was alive. Basically, they didn't know how he was still able to function on any level. He basically just kept to himself these bizarre thoughts and feelings that he had. It's really sad. So in a sense, I was relieved that it wasn't Parkinson's because of course, you know, you always put yourself in that position but it was even more scary because, as we know, uh, dementia can, I don't know that's always a part of Parkinson's, but certainly cognitive impairment can happen. And I just, in my interviews, that's the one thing that people have always said. One of the questions I ask is, what are you most afraid of? And, and almost all of them said, losing, losing your mind kind of thing, which is funny. That was, that was the name of the song that I wrote. No, not intentional, of course. But I guess it took me a while to kind of pinpoint what it was that really, besides the obvious grief of losing someone who was just so so beloved, and he had his he had his demons and struggles. He, he never he never shied away from that. But I guess when it came down to it, what I, what scared me was is if Robin Williams could lose who he was, a guy that could literally hold a room of people in the palm of his hand and have him crying with laughter or weeping with emotion from some of his acting. I think of Patch Adams. I just want a ball every time I see that movie. Um, how is little old me going to do it? And that's a question that I don't have the answer to other than I just got to keep going day to day. Don't borrow trouble from tomorrow. That's what I hear from so many of my fellow Parky friends, and trust me, I believe I believe it, and I, I need to hear it as much as you do, because I pride myself on being, I've said before, my wife says I hold court when I have people over. I sit in my chair, because I can, obviously I can't walk, but I can sit in my chair and I can talk your leg off, and uh, I will, and, and I, I, I love making people laugh. Am I Robin Williams? Hell no. Hell no. They're, we will never see another Robin Williams in our lifetime. But I enjoy, I love making people laugh. When, I, when other people laugh, I laugh. And when I laugh, I forget about my troubles, Parkinson's or prob problems I might be having in my personal life. So I would just say, I would just like to remember Robin Williams. Because like I said, he died, he died in August. So it's, it's almost 10 years since he died. So just for me, or maybe for yourself, find a clip of Robin Williams doing stand-up or good Robin Williams movie. Something to make you belly laugh. That's what I'm going to do tonight. So leave me your comments on, on Louis, Louis Body Dementia and uh, your thoughts on Robin Williams. And Is there somebody in your life that you, maybe someone famous or maybe just a relative of yours that, that you saw get uh, dementia or, or something, even Parkinson's, and it scared you and you were wondering how, if they, if they can't do it, how am I going to do it? That's all I got. Thanks for listening, guys. I wish you were all here on my deck right now. It's awesome. Love hearing from you. You guys make my day. Peace and love from the currently beautiful and sunny city of St. Louis.